Yo, yeah, welcome back, people. This is the touch with Michael and my guest. That's Mr. PD in the house. PD so in the house you. today. Thank you. I grabbed this young man <laughs> to my show today. You see, the last the last time you come for my show, you that's a lot of things that I actually sense about you. You are so very humble. Uh, I like the way you see things. I like the way your own personal perspective about life. And I believe you're a counselor indeed. A theologian, young man of God, <laughs> a brand ambassador. Mm. Welcome back again to the touch with Michael and my guest today. The last time we discussed about abortion, and today is the second episode. I want to like, comment, and share. Don't forget to share. Share to people, share to your friends, share everywhere on the social media, share everywhere. Yeah, yes, today we are going straight to a question. So we have a few questions to go today. I believe you are so much ready for this question. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. Definitely. By the grace of God. Definitely. <laughs> yes. The first person said, I was dating a guy when I got pregnant, his parents forced him to deny the pregnancy. That's that's bad to me. Then they sent him out to the United States, leaving him in with a two month pregnancy. Later I okay, I met a new guy. He decided to be with me. Uh, he enrolled me to a particular training center. He paid for everything. It has been five years. They have been together. The whole family didn't know about this guy. And all of a sudden, uh, the daddy of the baby came back to the States. He has come to apologize to me and is ready to take back the child. <laughs> that is so, that's so complicated. I, I confess, I am still in love with him. That's the lady. <laughs> this is an opportunity for me to go back with him, but I'm afraid to hurt the other guy. How do I make him understand that he won't feel betrayed or hurt? Give me an advice. What can you say about this? All right. So basically, I will not be giving you the answer we would want to hear because in any world in any universe in any dimension if there were dimensions if you believed in theory of multi dimensions there's no place whereby what you want to do is fair what you want to do is right if i get your story very well you spoke of a relationship you were in and you got pregnant in it and the man left you yes denied you and his family shipped him over to the states mm. and in that place of pain and all you met the guy that accepted you for who you were irrespective of your Free. baby yes and he still trained you at the training center yes. for five years and this young man from the states comes back walking into your life and telling you he wants the baby back and um you are saying you are still in love with him and you are asking how can you go back to him without us? Like, yeah. There's no possibility of, of that action you're about to take not hurting the person you are currently with. And mind you, I understand that again, what we are faced with, your circumstance is not exactly black and white because the a statement goes, emotions will every day overcome logic. Hmm. So the fact that this person that you are talking about that has come back into your life, you are once in love with him and understand the, the complications and seeing, seeing him again reappear in your life and it's feeling like he's coming to redeem himself he's coming mm. to yes. um reassure you of his mistakes he has made in the past but i can always tell you from from like research or from patterns and from um um what's the word now precedent that incidents like this of certain men with this kind of um temperament or decision making let me come again i can always tell you from the place of research patterns and precedents that cases like this whereby a man leaves a woman for a long time and comes back after realizing maybe he has made the wrong decision and comes back that union is bound to suffer a certain stain a certain pain that can never truly be overlooked Hmm. So you going back to this man will not, will not only put you in an emotional um, dilemma, but it is at the risk of being scattered again. Hmm. Because for someone to leave you in that state, it either be because of his family 
or me or him being young him coming back does not true, fully erase that potential of him doing it again so what do i advise you to do i advise you to look at this sincerely hmm. sincerity with all sincereness of that you were left down with nothing you were left you were abandoned by a particular man and you have been with a man that has shown you nothing but love and shown you nothing but support yes you you now going back to that man is utter betrayal you are betraying someone's trust you are betraying someone's love and these are the cases whereby people on the internet just see i understand what you are going to believe me i understand that dilemma that fight that that yeah. battle you are facing with it, <laughs> or whether i should go back to brother a or i should stick with brother b e. but people on the internet will not often understand this but even in my understanding of what you are going to i always tell you the truth i'm going to tell you the truth that you going back to brother a puts you at risk and it's a risk that you don't want to you don't want to embark on because a thing of union it wants the foundation is not Solid. solid when there's a crack in the foundation mm. what you are building in that relationship cannot survive the test of time mm. i tell you that so i will advise you to explain how you feel to brother a to brother b rather that there's someone i had in my life i believe he knows what has happened i transpired before he met you i believe sure. you have told him the truth i sure. believe you have been sincere with him Past five now, years. tell him what is going on right now and if brother b is someone that has shown you love with all sincereness of that you will understand what you are going to you will understand and he is the one by himself that will take that would that would direct you on how to go about it maybe you are looking for closure maybe you don't really love this person anymore but there's a part of you that wants closure you just want to see him and talk things out and ask you are hot definitely you are hot so you might be taking you are mistaking what you might be going through for love so i think the best thing to do firstly is to talk with the person you are currently with okay have a conversation about what you are going to openness in relationship is key for a relationship to survive if you truly care about this person's feelings the first thing you need to do is talk about this person mm. in your life that has come back with the person you are with now in this case this is what we see on twitter and someone comes out and confesses that this lady i was with i have done this mm. for her and, and she so left then. me and Many at times people bash this lady, but they don't understand that emotional complexities are not really black and white. Mm. But for you bringing this out in the open or discussing this with somebody or showing this question to me and Mr. Michael shows that you want to do the writing. And the writing for you to do is to talk with your current partner, explain to him what you are facing, the emotional struggles you are going through, and what you truly want. But I advise you going back to that man and leaving this man alone is putting your life in a whole lot of danger because the foundation is uh, it's, not it's solid. solid. It has been cracked. Okay. Yeah, I think I go with that, your response very well. So, okay. because she has to make a decision. Going back to the former former guy, because his parents denied, himself he denied, went out of the States, coming back after five years. So I think you have to, she has to make a decision on her, on her own. But I think he has to make the right decision to stay, to me, but to me, to stay with that, yeah, that new guy. Yeah. Because it will be a, a truly betrayer. Because definitely you want to, going back to the States, how sure, how sure is she that the guy will take care of her? Let's go to the next question. Yeah, that's a question here. It says, I'm in my tactics. I have been in a relationship for years now. I had I had this mindset that it will lead to marriage. Okay. Then suddenly he said he has found a flesh of his flesh and the bone of his bone. He drunk me, he forgot all my sacrifice and the love we share. One month after our breakup, I became pregnant for him. I've called and messaged him times without number, but he's not responding. Please, what should I do? Although, this isn't my first pregnancy for him. I've been aborting them because he said he's not ready to be a father. I don't want to, I don't want to give birth to a child without a father. 
Should I also abort this one and start afresh with someone else? Again, I would begin <laughs> and tell you that cases like this are not essentially black and white. And the little we can do from where we're sitting down is give a more or less uh, response based on a a radius response like mm. it's going to be very wide but it's going to be very direct because that a lot of things that have to be taken into consideration if we're going to give a a more applicable answer now from what i've understood about this once we read the question i i began to like say perceive that you have faced reality you have been played mm. that is what it is you have been you have been used as a stalking us i'm not telling you this to make you feel bad about yourself but once you realize the truth of what you have experienced once you are able to face the truth of what has been what you have allowed happen in your life then from there you can pick up yourself but if you want to keep on believing what is not as though it was when it doesn't have to do with what the word of god is saying but based on your reality you know that this thing that they have gone through is simple case of you being played of you being taken for granted, of you not being valued by a particular person that you call your partner. From there, you can pick up yourself. Now, you have been played. That's mm. the first thing we have to talk about now. And now, the reason for you being played is not because you are not enough. Yes. It's not because you are not, you are not of value. It's not because you have made yourself vulnerable to this person and he has taken advantage of you. No. This person has his issues. This person is the way he is not because of you this mm. person has made his decision not because of who you are now he said you have aborted so many times so many times not the first time not the second time i want to put this out there this doesn't make you less of a woman it doesn't make you less of a person it doesn't make you less of who you are you have made mistakes yes and now i always always tell people once once you decide to speak about what you are going through it means you want to do something differently. Once mm. you speak to a person about what has been going on in your life, it means you want to see a change occur in your life. Mm. And the three of us being in this conversation, not uh, not exactly directly, but we are in this conversation together, you, myself, and Mr. Michael, yeah. God has a purpose for it. Now, the fact that the Bible is against abortion, the Bible is pro-life in jeremiah he talked about the fact that before you were born i knew you before you were formed i had known you god is pro-life the bible is pro-life that means it stands against abortion Mm. so now you want to do you want him to do things differently has to start with doing things the way god wants you to do it now you have to retrace your steps like mr michael says mistakes are not the it's not, it's not, a, it's, it's not a death sentence but the way to retrace yes. your steps now you have to retrace your steps what you are faced with is not just it's not just a one-off thing it's not just on the abortion incident alone you have to find yourself once again and you are aborting this baby would not be falling in line with the principles of god for humanity Mm. Although you have done it before, I don't want to get the consciousness that let me just do it again. I have had of kisses right. by. It's gonna be the last t- chance for you. Um, I I do, I don't like telling people that this might be the last chance for <laughs> you, but we cannot we cannot deny the reality of mm. how this this life these things these things we call life happen. This might be the chance God has given to you to transform your life. Mm. Now, you don't want to have a baby without a father. The Bible tells us that God is the word father to the fatherless. <laughs> I can, no, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, being yeah. very yes, serious. Yes, I'm, I'm being very serious about serious this. With you. The thing is that, my sister, you have been abused. You have your, your vulnerability has been taken advantage of by a man. And there are a lot of things you need to work on. It, you will you find it very difficult to trust a man again. You find it difficult to stay with someone for a long time because you are expecting what has happened in your previous relationship to come up again. Mm. That is a big trauma. You were dating someone 
and you had made a lot of sacrifices for that person and the person tells you i have found the bone of my bone i have found the flesh of my flesh that is a stab in the heart seriously and if you do not admit that hurt you will find it difficult for you to move on now i know we're talking about abortion but i want us to transcend more than the abortion we are focused with there's a need for you to to reflect again reflection is the place where transformation begins Mm. reflection a place of reflection is where transformation begins you reflect over your life and if you are a believer you reflect over your life in contrast with the word of god says in 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 mirroring your life with what the bible says and i can tell you for a fact the bible is enough so let people tell you the bible is not enough the bible has everything we need so you have to reflect your life with what the bible says if you do not know what the bible says it's time to give yourself to the bible it's time to give yourself to someone that build up your spirit whereby you cannot have a substantial um reflection whereby you are looking at your life the way god wants to live it and how far you have lived your own life mm. now this should not you having this baby will, should not affect that process should not affect that process of finding yourself you have to if you have to find yourself once again because I can assure you that pain you have felt as a result of that betrayal can cause a person to lose herself, can cause a person to lose himself. Now, I want you to see this baby as the baby you're about to have as a awakening of newness in your life. Mm. Although the, the 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 actions that led to it is not quote and unquote the right way, but good can come out of yes. evil instance the bible talks about what the enemy turned planned for evil jesus yes, turned it for god it. Yeah. he has turned it around for good now the devil might have seen this opportunity as a way to destroy your life but well, i want you to see this baby coming to your life as a bringer as a of gift. newness as a gift of god uh, yes for as newness as even as you reflect on now we have lived life and how much of god's life you want to live from now on so I said, if you are a believer, you have to reflect with the scriptures. If you are not a believer, I do not know your religion, and I will not want to bash any religion. I don't know if she's a Christian. Is she a Christian? I don't know. But if you are not a believer, and you see the need for you to receive Christ as a Lord and Savior, I think you should go on with that action. Seek God, and you shall find Him. Hmm. If you are not a believer, it is time for you to consciously look for an encounter with the lord and it is a posture of the heart because people i see people wanting to live life without god and it can never really end well what you need now is the god factor in your life for your baby for your baby's life so you need a god factor so i have said a lot of things in this space of few minutes but i want to i want to like recap on what i've said the first point of you can't try, okay you can't actually make it a summary of yes, everything yes, now. let's make yes. it a summary of everything number one thing you have to realize that you have been hurt okay are you following me you have been hurt by a man and this hurt you have gone through can affect the way you see men can affect the way you see your relationship your future relationships and the only way to face that hurt and overcome it is to realize it and work on yourself mm. Secondly, there's a need for reflection. As you are realizing you have been not, there's a need to be re- to reflect yes. on how much of life you have lived in contrast with the word of God. Because do sin or you can sing a song until I find God before I find myself. So now in your reflection, you have to find God mm. so that you can find who God wants you to be. Because even as we live life, God has a picture for us. Hmm. Before we can get that picture of what God has for us, we have to look for who is painting that picture. Hmm, that, that, that's a mystery. So, thirdly, the Bible is against abortion. My sister, dearly beloved sister, you shouldn't go ahead with abortion because the Bible is against it. The principles guiding the world is against taking of life hmm. because none of us can give life, none of us can create life. So who are we to take take life? life? So, yes, my sister, the Lord loves you, and I love you. I don't know, I don't know who you are, but I love you sincerely. I love you too. And abortion is not the way to go. Once you, I had someone say this a long time ago that once a woman 
does commit abortion, she loses a part of herself. Hmm. A part of herself is lost. And if you want to be sincere with yourself, those moments you have made the sacrifices for that brother and you have been aborting this pregnancy, a part of you has been lost. But God can restore. Hmm. He said, whatever they can come as it now we restore. Hmm. Whatever the enemy has stolen, I will restore. So those places, those part of yourself you have lost as a result of the abortion, series of abortions you have committed, the Lord can restore it. So my sister, dearly beloved, abortion is not the way to go. Alright, thank you very much. PD, it's a nice time with you in the studio today. And I believe so much people are viewers, wherever you are watching, I believe so much. We have made a lot of justification to all our questions here today. Yes, it's a wrap on my show today. The Touch. With me, I'm a gas. PD, Otten David, Assassin Follies, Counselor, a pastor, Tolodian, Youth, I can Fine boy. <laughs> Just to the next time, I want to like and share. Share this pro- podcast, share it to your friends, share it to anyone you wish you think you can actually help. Yes, by sharing, you can help someone. Someone is in the right position now that he needs. This info. Next time you see me, I'm a guest again on the show. Thank you.